I've got two smooth pipes, each having a mass of 300 kg are supported by the fork tine. It's, it's, it's fork uh, or tines of the a tractor. Tractor, it's a forklift or a tractor? Okay, anyway, we don't know. Okay, so draw the feed boy diagram for each pipe. I want you to draw the feed boy diagram of pipe B only, only B. So it means you draw only B pipe here. So that's my B pipe here. B pipe has got a mass of 300. So that, and, and it is basically on an inclined plane. So I'm, I'm looking at B, I'm not looking at A. Remember, if I have to draw a fiber diagram of any object, I will draw that object only and cut it off from the surrounding. So I'm drawing the fiber diagram of pipe B. So I draw pipe B and cut it off from the sound. So let's see what is acting on B only. There's a weight acting downwards, so that is my reactive force. So that's my active force. Okay. Now, uh, what is the support here? I've got two support, uh, uh, two or uh, two areas where it's been supported. One is in in along this axis, so that's basically a force being applied in this direction. So that's my V one reactive force, and also it's been supported at the ground. So I will have another reactive force here. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so in simple words, the, for for my uh, for my B, that is my free body diagram. Now let's look at the free body diagram of pipe A. So I will draw pipe A. I've got the I've got ground here, and I've got a wall here. Okay. So one reactive force acting downward. That is the weight, which is three hundred. Okay, uh, what else we've got? What else we've got? Reaction. Okay, uh, I've got the uh, 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 hold on, I've got another active force uh, from B. Okay, so I've got a reactive force from coming from the uh, active force and from B also. Now let's see the support reactive. I've got from the wall, that's there. And I've got from the floor, that's here. So I've got two active and two reactive forces. Is that clear? Simple words, that's how it looks. Is that clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, I want you to draw the free body diagram of both pipes together. So both pipes together means one piece. So if I want to draw the free body, uh, let me give you an example. I've got uh, a crane here. It's a crane and it's made of uh, steel bars. It's a crane. You've seen such cranes with trusses. And I and it's pivoted here and the force down here. Okay. So if I ask you to draw the free boy diagram, you will do a reactive force here and a reactive force here. And you will say there's an active force F here and maybe a G force acting downward. Am I right? Yes, sir. But you are, you are not looking into the forces acting on each member of the truss. You're not looking at that. You are looking at the whole system because the whole system is one piece. Clear? Similarly, when it says, Draw the free body diagram of both the pipes together. So both pipes are one piece. So now let us look at the active force. I've got the weight acting downward. I've got the reactive forces. And I've got another reactive force here. I'm not looking at the internal forces which are acting 
uh, in the middle. And you do not look at the internal force. So they are, they are two active force and three reactive force. So a simple work, a free body diagram for your, uh, for both the pipes look like this. Is this clear to everyone? So the first diagram is R reaction force, effect of B acting on A. You're talking about this one? Single pipe, sir. Free body diagram, right side. Bottom right corner. Uh, uh, is that B1? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, the B1 is for uh, uh, pipe A. Yes, sir. So, so, so your, your three forces here are exactly the same as here. Because what you're getting in simple words is basically you've got a reactive force acting here on pipe A. You've got the reactive force acting here on pipe A. You've got the active force acting downward and you've got uh, an active force being because of the push of the uh, pipe okay, B. So therefore you've got your force here also. Clear? Yes, sir. Thank you. So remember, you don't look at the internal uh, force. Well, let me give you a simple example so that it's embedded. I've got a box and it weighs, it's, it's on the floor. If I ask you to draw the free body diagram of the box, what you will do, you will do G, you will do active force and a reactive force. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. yes sir. Now on that box, I put another box and ask you to draw the free body diagram of the, of the box, the, the complete uh, body, both the boxes. So what you will do, you will have one complete reactive force, active force and one reactive force. Clear? If I put another box on top and I ask you to draw the free body diagram of the whole box system, you will have the same one active force and one reactive force. You will not look into the forces acting at the joints. You will not look at the internal force. You look at the external force. Is that clear to everyone? Yes, sir. 